it's despicable that a reputable head coach could come out and say this when he doesn't get his way or things don't go his way. The narcissist in him doesn't allow those things to happen, and it's ridiculous. If you closely follow recruiting, you know Texas A&M had a cycle for the ages, according to several outlets, possibly the best of all time. It also coincided with the new era for the sport. While players can profit off their name, image, and likeness, promises for those deals cannot be made for unsigned recruits. On signing day, Nick Saban voiced his general concerns about the system. And I'm not accusing anybody of anything, and I'm not accusing anybody of that. I'm not saying anybody did that. That's not why I'm saying this. I'm just saying philosophically. Last night, Saban changed his tune. I mean, we were second in recruiting last year. a and was first. a and bought every player on their team, made a deal for name, image, and likeness. All right, we didn't buy one player. This morning, Jimbo Fisher forcefully fired back. You're taking shots at 17-year-old kids and their families. And they broke state laws. They're, they're, they're all money. They're, we bought every player on this group. We never bought anybody. No rules were broken. You can, you can call me anything you want to call me. You ain't calling me a cheat. I don't cheat and I don't lie. So I learned that when I was a kid. If you did, the old man slapped you side of the head. Maybe somebody should have slapped him. Fisher and Saban's history is well documented. They previously coached together at LSU, winning a national championship in 2003. But what was left of that relationship appears to be over. Have you had any contact with Nick since? No. Uh, oh, he's called. You just didn't take the call? Not going to. We're done. He shows you who he is. Listen, you coach with people like Bobby Bowden and learn how to do things. You coach with other people and learn how not to do things. There's a reason people don't go, I ain't went back and worked for him. A&M Athletic Director Ross Bjork echoed some of Fisher's comments to Sports Illustrated. He said Saban's accusations were personal. It's amazing that we're allowed to do those things. It's really despicable. And I, and I hate it for our players who are coming here who did things the right way, have done things the right way, and will continue to do things the right way. I apologize to you, the people who insult you publicly the way they're doing it. And our fans, I, I, I apologize to you guys for people saying those things about Texas A&M. But promise you this, there are, no, there are no violations. There are nothing wrong. In a radio interview later today, Saban did apologize for singling out Texas A&M and others. The SEC also issued a public reprimand for both coaches. Ben Peck, KAG Sports.